Here's another solar waving guy project and this one comes from a comment I made to someone a couple of weeks ago when I said I was working on a wireless electric powered little pulse motor and it should just use the light from the table lamp and I ran into a bit of a problem and you can see that well I've had complaints on some videos about them being dark and that's because of this lamp it's only a 5 watt LED you can see the difference in colour there on the table and then on the wall I mean this isn't a very good lamp at all and I should upgrade it but I thought before I do so I'll try out this project and it's based on the Centurion circuit, the wireless electricity circuit I did a number of years ago. It's called Centurion because it's got a tank circuit for the transistor. I've rejigged it slightly, um, I've added a diode on the output and I've had to change a couple of details here. This one actually uses a 402 capacitor, non-electrolytic. And uh, that is the complete output, unfortunately, from this circuit. If I turn it over, there we are, there it is, sitting on the back. 24 plus 24 turns of 30 gauge, and the circuit as per there. And it's using a 2M2222 because I ran out of the MPSA 18s. So as I say, all we've got from this circuit is that output there to that LED, which is fair enough, you know, from an LED light. This is not like the old CFL days where you're getting nuclear radiation spewing out the things or whatever. Is that enough to run that circuit there, which is the internals of one of these guys? I mean, look at that one on the right, he's hardly moving. There's very little energy coming out of that bulb for a light source. So that's the internals. I've got two coils on it, not just the one. It's an older project, that circuit, but it is just one of those, the internals. And then I've got the uh, magnets all facing the same direction, north, and it's semi levitated at the top. Right, I'll try this again. Um, I took the footage out because I managed to knock this over, and I don't like embarrassing myself that much, so we'll just try it again quickly. Um, I can show you this though. What I've got is a piece of protoboard there with a little hole in it, and that. <laughs> Alright, take number three. Ah, right, so this uh, piece of protoboard has got the hole in it, and if I can put this on now without having the magnets fly off, you can see that what it does is it keeps the rotor from wandering around. Sometimes if these things speed up, they can end up wandering away from the coil. Right, so without further ado, I can pick it up and not have any more disasters. Place it down there on top. And what we should see, here we are, is the rotor start to kick around. I may give it some assistance in a moment because it's also wobbling around there. We'll just get it to start up. They do auto start. If you put it there in front of the coil, we should see it kick again. There we are. Uh, but if I give it some slight assistance just so you don't have to spend all afternoon or evening or something watching a silly video. There we are. It's spinning around very nicely. And it will pick up some more speed. And if you consider, really, how little movement there is from these guys then the difference, even with just the output as you saw on this LED, um, that is a decent effective little efficient circuit. So looking again at the circuit diagram, very simple indeed, might be something you might want to place on a desk that's got a rubbish lamp like that, and it all runs along very nicely indeed. Okay, thanks for watching.